What's happening, everyone? John Hendricks here, Boot Crew Media, coming at you with another episode of The Drive presented by Royal Honda in New Orleans. Well, this is finally here. We're at OTAs, right? And the Saints have kind of kicked off this thing. We'll be able to see some things on Thursday, and we should be able to see it for the next several weeks before the team has a mandatory minicamp and such uh, going into next month in mid-June. So, look, what do you want to see out of this, right? What can you expect to see? Well, let's first of all talk about OTAs, right? So what you are going to be able to see is some players on the field doing drills, right? So you, the highlights are you can do seven on seven, you could do nine on seven drills or 11 on 11. So seven on seven seem to be pretty fun a lot of times. So you can see some things here and there, but obviously there's no contact really. If, you know, you're not going to see people say, man, look at that hit that DeMario Davis laid or anything like that. This is just not that type of setting, right? But what you are going to be able to see is a lot of, uh, you know, just kind of the players formation just different things hopefully we get to see some one-on-one -on -one battles um just kind of a, a ebb and flow right what resembles training camp but what's not right and so between that and then obviously just talking to some players and coaches that's kind of going to be the highlights to kind of look forward to but really you know there's a few storylines that you want to obviously keep up or some areas that you want to pay attention to right so first thing is availability right i think that's the biggest thing is you know who's going to be in the building who's going to be there who's not going to be there and just because a player is not there doesn't mean it should be something that you said uh, said panic or say oh my goodness what's what's going on but obviously the big ones would be michael thomas obviously he's around the building from what we've heard um and you know look he's been around right and so what i would tell you is that when Sean Payton was having his conference where he's stepping down, so to speak, he was in the building, right? And so anybody that tells you that there was some still bad blood or anything like that, I mean, we've heard it from Mickey Loomis and his, his evidence, uh, it's evidence that uh, that basically he's ready, he's invested, he's kind of all in. So that would be the first player, obviously. Obviously, you want to see if Jameis Winston is going to be there what kind of capacity he's going to be doing things at OTAs. That's another one. And, and look, injured players, I think, coming come back from last year, guys like Peyton Turner, Tano Passignon, the guys that just kind of, again, wouldn't say disappeared, but got hurt last year, kind of disappeared. We really didn't hear a, a whole lot about it, right? And so that's going to be another one. You know, Ryan Ramchek, where is he at uh, in his rehab? And how does he look? Uh, Taysom Hill, where is he at in his list Frank uh, progress, right? So uh, there's tons of players that you can go – um, go down the list and say, man, I'm really excited to see. Second thing would be the rookies, just kind of how they integrate, right? And, um, you know, where is Elante Taylor in the process? Um, you know, Saints are pretty stacked at corner, right? You have Marshawn Lattimore, you have Paulson Adebo, Bradley Roby, uh, and now Elante Taylor. And so that'll be a, a fun one, Trevor Pinning, where is he at? And obviously we want to make sure to remember that, you know, James Hurst is going to be your guy that starts on the left side um, until, you know, if – Pinning can take the job from him. that's going to be another thing to watch out but you know this is OTAs you're going to be able to see some football but you're not going to see a whole ton right so don't expect to say see a, a bunch but I think the rookies are obviously storyline and just kind of where everybody kind of comes in and these new players right uh, Marcus May really interested to see where they end up throwing him because him and Tyron Matthew are very versatile. So those are two, obviously they have Daniel Sorensen on the back end. They have Jaleel Johnson that they picked up Contavia street. Um, you know, a lot of these free agents that they signed new guys that they brought to the table. Uh, so you obviously want to see them and, you know, look, we hadn't really talked to them since March. So it'll be fun to see just to chat with some of these guys, assuming they're there and going to be available. And then, you know, look, just coaching and just kind of the tempo mentality. And, you know, you've been seeing a lot lately, I think, really about uh, national media, man. They're just not giving the Saints any love. And, you know, particularly Jameis Winston, there was a CBS Sports article that went out today um, just talking about the top, you know, I think it's 16 or 15 co head, new head coach and new quarterback duos. Or the criteria is like you had to have at least one new head coach or have at least a new quarterback. And the Saints, Jameis Winston and Dennis Allen weren't on it. So I don't understand that one. I've seen some people talk about this team being a sub-500 team. Uh, I don't, I don't know how you look at things uh, again. I, and I think a lot of it hinges on Jameis Winston. A lot of it hinges on Dennis Allen, but look, I think from a defensive perspective, you should see this defense doing, you know, I wouldn't say that they're going to pick up right where they left off because obviously every year is different and you have some different pieces in the back end linebacker. Presumably it's, it's Demari Davis and Pete Warner. So um, that's going to be interesting and see how that sorts out. And, but you know, on, on the, defensive line and I mean we kind of if you go down the roster again I've said this before but 
if you go down the roster, you practically can pick out all the starters and all the places. I mean, there's going to be some things to shore up, you know, like at what point are they going to bring in a veteran running back, right? Uh, Daryl Williams signed with the Cardinals on Tuesday. So saints weren't able to get that. I do expect them to bring in some type of veteran guy. Uh, and it's not even just with the Alvin Kamara situation. It's just more to do with that's kind of how they do. And, and I remember last year they brought in Devonte Freeman. And a lot of people were surprised by that. And Freeman was doing pretty good in camp and, you know, it did it well enough and perform well enough to, to latch on with the Ravens and, and kind of stay there for a good bit. So uh, you know, OTAs, a lot, lot of things to take in, a lot of things to look at. Um, and, you know, the best part is we're that much closer to football. So we'll have to get a look at it closer. But obviously, stay tuned to Boot Crew Media. We'll have some reports, reactions, analysis, all the good stuff. You guys will know. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to us, keep it tuned here. We're going to bring you tons of information this season. And again, Thanks to Royal Honda for producing today's show. Guys, I'm John Hendricks. Have a good one.